Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys, hope you're all well and safe. Thank you so much for joining me for this video reading. And um, let's get right into your messages, my loves. Okay, the first message is the mirror. Okay, the mirror. So there's some sort of weird mirror magic going on in your energy, Aries where things are being mirrored to you, energies are being mirrored to you, emotions are being mirrored to you, projected to you, um, things being like dark energies being transferred through mirrors and portals, okay, so there's different mirrors in our reality, okay, so basically we have mirrors in our car, we have mirrors in our home, we have mirrors on our phone, we have mirrors on our TV, because it... it our phones is a black mirror, okay? Our TVs, that's a black mirror. That's a dark portal. Regular mirrors are also portals too. So whatever you put into that energy, whatever energy you put into that portal, whatever energy you feed it, all right, whatever energy you're in. So basically, if you're in your phone all day, right, and you're having dark thoughts, while you're in your phone or whatever you're watching has a has a bad frequency to it okay whatever we watch whatever we listen to aries it's basically uh an energy there's an energy that comes through the vibrations of the sounds it could be somebody's voice it could be the words somebody's speaking it could be a song music lyrics to a song okay it could be just noise okay so like different noises have different frequencies so this if, if if you live in a house and there's always like this squeaking noise coming from your fridge or this buzzing sound coming from your uh, ventilation systems or there's this weird noise coming from your air conditioner or your fan or there's this squeaky sound coming from your television i mean there's different ways that they're using these lower vibrational frequencies and sounds and noises even noise disturbances if you have a noisy neighbor uh they're always putting their music loud when you're trying to rest or they're always screaming and arguing with each other you can hear them or they're always pulling up with loud music or they're driving a loud motorcycle around your home or a dirt bike or there's a lot of sirens all that all that noise is a disturbance to your energy it is actually a low vibrational frequency um, that is actually disturbing you. It is disturbing your peace. It will disturb your energy. So there's different ways and different methods and um, strategically that they're using mirrors to project energies towards you and sounds, frequencies, things that you could be watching or listening to or things going on around your energy that could be disturbing your peace and energy. So right now it is time for you guys to be mindful. Okay, so please be mindful. Be mindful to what you're listening to. Be mindful who you're listening to. Be mindful whose advice you're taking. Be mindful what music you're listening to. Be mindful uh, of the environment where you are living or your, the environment that surrounds you if it's taking too much of your energy, okay? Because it feels like there's a huge resistance going on in your life and your energy because you guys are elevating, because you guys are discovering the truth in your lives individually, and you guys are basically putting yourself on a new path. You guys are making decisions, okay, to let go of the old ways of thinking and the old ways of you doing things as to this new version of yourself where you're more enlightened, where you're more high vibrational, where you're more in tune with your ancestors and your, and your guides. Um, and you basically are being very picky and choosy as to who you give your energy to and who you entertain and who you give an, any information to about your life at this time and what's going on with you. Okay, so there's a lot of people that are upset and angry because you chose to take back your power and not give them all this information and not give them all this time and energy. So they basically, they're upset about that, Aries. They're upset about it. They're not happy about it. They're going to resist this, this transformation that you're having. In different ways, they're going to try to trigger you. They're going to try to lower your vibration, distract you enough, and um, put you in your head so that way their weird manipulation spells, crown chakra spells, 
uh, confusion spells, sympathy spells, all that stuff, distraction spells, um, illusion magic can actually work on you. Okay, so the way they're doing this is simultaneously. Simultaneously, they're, they're, they're having certain people reach out to you, communicate to you, bump into you. All of a sudden, they're in your timeline. All of a sudden, they're like, hey, what's up? You know, all of a sudden, different people strategically coming into your energy. You guys have to be mindful how you respond to these individuals. And you can say, hey, what's up? And just leave it there. Leave the conversation right there. Do not entertain it. Do not indulge. Do not give any information. Do not invite them over. Do not uh, expect for these people to be actually happy for you or actually be genuine when they're coming in. Because these are the same people that were uh, all teamed up against you. So these are the same people. They're just wearing a different mask when they're coming towards you at, at this time, okay? So you can take it with a grain of salt, right? You can say, hey, it's cool that you reached out, but deep down inside, I know you're not sorry, or deep down inside, I know you're still hanging out with so-and-so, the person that I, you know, ain't, I'm not um, friends with anymore or I don't speak to anymore because, you know, I know you're still involved with them. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't talk to them anymore. But deep down inside, you know that these individuals are being sent to you simultaneously, right? So the mirror is significant. So I'm going to read this message in this book that I have. 365 Days of Prayer. This is the book I have. So this is a message that the Most High God wants to, you know, like express to you at this time. Bring to your awareness. Somebody could be born in February. Somebody could be an Aquarius. All right, somebody could be born in February or somebody could be born um, on the 11th. At, you know, doesn't matter what month it is. Somebody, you or somebody you're dealing with could be born on the 11th. You guys could be seeing 11-11 a lot. Somebody could have an 11-year-old child. Somebody's life path is number 11. The number 11 is significant. This is divine timing where uh, divine souls are coming together. Um, star seeds, light workers, earth angels, healers all over the world coming together uniting because the divine is orchestrating this simultaneously a whole bunch of us are going through the same things in different ways but we're just on different timelines so some of us have experienced certain things already as to where some of us haven't experienced those things already they're still playing out so like uh, i'm trying to let you guys know that some of you guys watching are on a certain timeline where these things are already happening or they happen and they're still occurring and some of you guys are just starting to see these things play out now Okay, so yeah, take the message how it resonates for you watching this video. Okay, this message is says, Lord, you make all things new. So the Most High God is making all things new in your life. The Most High God is basically preparing a table for you in front of your enemies as we speak. Okay, Lord, you make all things new. The moment I chose to love you, you began a transformation in me. All right, so God is transforming you with from the inside out, okay, internally, mentally, emotionally, you guys are resonating more with the with the higher powers, you guys are res resonating more with the angels, you're resonating more with your ancestors, you're resonating more with, with the things you know that you already accomplished in your past life, you're resonating more with those things now, okay, so you are coming together with your authentic self, you're coming together with your pure spirit and your authentic energy, Okay, so there's no stopping you now. And then I heard, ain't no stopping me now. Gotta work it out. I don't know who sings that. I just heard that. There's no stopping you now. You're working things out. God is working things out in your favor. The divine is working for you in your favor. All right? And um, things are really not working out for your karmic uh, enemies. Uh, for your for these trolls on social media. Some of, They could be trolling you online. Okay? They're trying to slow down your business. They're trying to slow down your progress, they're trying to make you feel exhausted every day, depleting your energy, doing the most in your energy so that at a certain time you can't even get your work done. But you're getting the strength out of nowhere. Somebody feels like, where the heck are you getting the strength from? Because whoever you are, these people have done so much work on your chakra, so much work on your energy, sending dark energies to your home when you're sleeping. And you're just like, this huge generator of energy and power, like, it's just trans it's just transmuting it. You are transmuting energies as you sleep. You're transmuting energies as you're at work during the day, as you're exercising. Your chakras are vibrating high. So you guys don't realize it, but you guys are fighting spiritual battles every day, all day, at random times. 
and you don't realize it, but at random times you could get this loud pitch ringing in your ears, that's confirmation for you. At random times you could just be having a, a, a weird epiphany or a flashback of something that someone said to you before or something that happened. You're, you're putting it together now. Everything is starting to fall into place and make sense. Okay, so just take it easy with yourself. Um, rest, get plenty of rest, eat healthy, stay away from the crowds right now. You know, go into your hermit phase. Don't be so quick to go everywhere you're being invited because you're, you're being invited somewhere, but, you know, your enemy is going to show up there. Somebody you don't want to speak to or see is going to be there. They're going to be there to trigger you guys so they can uh, record your reaction or so they can say, well, you know, you haven't changed. You're still the same. You still react. Da, da, da. So they can make you look bad, basically. Lower your vibration. Put a spiritual attack onto you or something. All right. So, Lord, you make all things new. The moment I chose to love you, you began a transforming work inside of me. You washed me clean. God is washing you clean. All right. God is washing you clean. All right. Your name is being cleared. Years of sin, guilt, and regret, and grime, all gone. You, I'm going to say that again, my love. So forgive yourself. Be good to yourself. Don't, don't view yourself uh, based on your past. You are not your past. You don't represent your past. You represent what you became now, who you are now, the work you've done on yourself and how you've healed and changed for the better. That's who you are, okay? So God is washing years of sin, okay? Guilt, regret, and grime out of your life, out of your energy, out of your existence. You have a clean slate, my love. So keep moving forward. Don't keep beating yourself up for the things that these people have been projecting onto you for the things that they've been saying about you around town or in your community because you chose to tap into your spiritual side, because you chose to you chose to do things differently than you ever have done them before and that these people that you thought you were friends with, they never were your friends. You never really resonated with these people. You just try to fit in, all right? But now you can't do that anymore. You know what I mean? Like, you guys can't just fit in. You guys just can't accept these types of people around you because it's uncomfortable. It doesn't feel good. It makes you feel sick, literally. Okay, so God washed away years of sin, guilt, and regret and grime from your life, from your energy. And it's like they're trying to add more dirt, more grime, more regret onto your energy, more trauma. And they're being blocked. There's a whole wall in front between you and these people. Your ancestors got a whole wall of protection around your life between you and these individual karmics because they refuse to change, they refuse to heal, they refuse to look in the mirror, especially your karmic exes. Aries, your karmic exes never got over you. Your karmic exes never moved on. They just thought they defeated you by walking away and choosing a karmic that was nothing like you, a karmic that doesn't even compare to you. At the end of the day, the karmic that, you know, can never... Give this person what you gave them, okay? But this, these individual exes that you have all teamed up with Shrek, Fiona, and Poison Ivy and your karmic family members, and they, they sold out. They sold their soul, and the price was cheap, all right? They, they put themselves in a dark timeline, and it was easy for them to do it because these karmic exes, they were having a hard time breaking you down spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. They were having a hard time orchestrating your demise because for one thing, for one thing I know for certain, is that whoever you are, there's been attempts taken on your life more than once. There's been more than one attempt on your life, trust me. They put you in harm's way more than once. They poisoned your food or drink more than once, okay? They've orchestrated accidents in your life, freak accidents. They've orchestrated that in your life more than once. They sent a hitman into your life more than once. But every single time you defeated it, you came out unscathed, unharmed, okay? The, the people being sent towards you ended up falling in love with you, or they ended up um, regretting that they even tried it. Because somewhere along the line, your ancestors let them know what it was hitting for, coming into your energy with a dark agenda. They could have left your house and got in an accident. They could have left your house and trip and fall, fell and, and, and bumped their head or broke their arm. Or they, like something happened to these people every time they were coming into your energy simultaneously. And they would literally see themselves out of your life too. They would literally ghost you. And that's how you know how powerful you are. These people that were sent to harm you, they would literally ghost you. Or they would actually fall in love with you or become obsessed with you in a weird way and stalk you and become delusional. Can't even get the job done. Because whoever you are, 
they become enchanted as soon as they look at your eyes, as soon as they are around your presence, as soon as they feel your healing energies and your, and your beautiful aura and your energy, the confidence you exude. You build them up. They came to break you down, but you actually build them up, whoever you are. These enemies come towards you to break you down, and you actually give them inspiration. You actually give them motivation. You actually make them feel better when they come around, and they don't understand it. They're having a hard time, Aries. So now is not the time to invite in new people. You know, the divine is going to put you in the right place to be a part of your actual soul tribe, to work with a group of people that are actually like you, to actually build a foundation that is going to be world-renowned, that is going to be a foundation that's going to help a lot of people and humanity. Okay, you will be on the front line for something big, for something huge is really happening in your energy, and you don't even understand the amount of blessing that God has ready to pour down on you. Like, this is your year. You can say the affirmation in the comment section. This is my year. God is pouring down my blessings down on me this year. This is your year. This is your year for success, recognition, strength, motivation, transformations. Nothing will ever be the same. Once you keep climbing this spiritual ladder, there's no going back, my loves. Okay, so transforming you. All right, all the pain, years of guilt and regret are gone. It's more than I can gas, grasp. This new self, wow, you can't even believe this new version of yourself. It's really real. This is your, you can pitch yourself. This is really real. This is really you. This is really happening. All right, you're actually changing. You're actually learning the lessons. And you're actually manifesting something huge in your life. All right, you have changed for the better. These people are having a hard time recognizing your growth because they don't want to see it. They want to be in denial. Because they want to believe all the lies they told about you themselves when they know it isn't true. They're still trying to believe the lies they told about you. And other people are looking at them like, listen, I don't want to hear it. This ain't it. Like, you lied on so-and-so. Like, yeah, so-and-so ain't up to no good because I saw them. They look good. They're doing good. They ain't even out there. Like, so, yeah, this ain't it. They can't do you like they used to do you, and they're frustrated. And like I said in yesterday's video, your energy is unmatched, and these karmics, they're unhinged right now. They're going through it, all right? They're losing their mind. Somebody you know could actually end up in a mental institution because they had a doubt, like, they had, like, some sort of, like, mental breakdown or something, downward spiral, and overindulging in drugs. Somebody actually is losing it, okay? They could be losing it in a public place, and the ambulance is called, the police is called. It's like this person is literally losing it over you, over your transformation and over the way you're defeating their karmic energy, all right? So, yeah, you've changed, Father, and, and uh, so it says, I believe I am forgiven. Yes, you are forgiven. Believe that you're forgiven because these people want you to feel for forsaken by God, but you're God's, you're God's favorite child. You're God's most adored child. You're one of his toughest warriors. You were prepared for this, okay? So you found somebody when they were broken, all right? And this person feels like you saved them. You were their saving grace. All right, if they were sent towards you to harm you, you have changed this person's life. They backed out. They don't want to do it. They could be on the run from the secret society because they're looking for this person. Because this person has information that they're afraid this person is going to come and confess this to you. Why they actually were sent into your life and how they actually fell in love with you. How you actually awakened them. That they were on the, the wrong path. Especially if they were coming towards you with this negative agenda. Even if this person wasn't coming towards you with that negative agenda, this could be somebody that was living their life in, in the dark path and a negative path, and you helped this person. You saved them with your love and light and energy, with your uh, beautiful aura or your advice or your healing methods. Whatever you've done, this person's completely in love with you, Aries. Now, let me read this to you guys because the time is going so fast. I have a lot to say, so there is going to be a part two for this video, my loves. And this is a different setting because uh, there's a lot of noise going, outside, going on outside right now um, for some reason as soon as I was about to record. So I decided to do the video in a different part of my house where the sound is blocked out. So this room is soundproof for a reason because the devil will never be able to block me from speaking no matter what's going on outside my window, guys. Okay, so let's get it. This is the poem. This is the way this person's feeling about you, whoever you are. This person feels like you are their saving grace. This person prays for you every night. This person feels like you're their, one of their spirit guides or you were sent by. Sent from heaven. Ooh, I heard that song by Keisha Cole. 
I don't know the words, guys. All I heard is that Keisha Cole song, Sent From Heaven. This person feels like you've been sent from heaven in their life. I heard the name Ebony, Amanda, Amy, Amari, Mario, Brian, Re Reynaldo, Richie, Brandon, Brenda, Charles, Charlie, Angie, Angel, R Richard or Ricky. I heard Vin or Vinny. Then I heard Royal, Royale or Royal. Somebody's name could be Royal or their nickname or they like to drink Crown Royale. I don't know. Your ancestors might be asking you to give them a drink, Aries. Put some liquor on their altar. All right, my loves. Your ancestors are fighting a lot of battles right now in the spirit realm. So here it goes. This is how somebody's feeling about you guys, okay? You found me broken. I never believed I was chosen. Wow. So this person never thought they were chosen, but you actually enlightened them that we are all chosen. We just choose the path we're going to take. And if we choose a dark path, then we forfeit our inheritance. We forfeit our assignments. Then we go down a dark path and we join the dark side, right? So whoever you are, you put this person on the right path, all right? You found me broken. I never believed I was chosen. You had this confidence. The spark in your eyes, so rare I can't help but stare. Nothing compares, a breath of fresh air. I could be myself, so I open up. Can you fix me with your love? Wow, this person feels like you fixed them with your love, or you can fix them or heal them with your love. Wow, you see past my scars, all the way to my heart. I know you were sent by God to bring me back to life. Like sipping fine wine, time after time, you blow my mind. Wow, this time is for keeps. So I get down on my knee and say, will you marry me? So not for everybody, but for some of you guys, this person might actually want to marry you. They want to actually propose. They're actually in love with you. All right, let's get some messages here and a couple cards really quickly. And I will be back with a part two for this video reading, guys. Let me know if you like this setting, okay? I'm sorry about this. At the last minute, I had to do the video in this room because it is soundproof in my house okay okay my love so let's go what is going on angels and ancestors what is the main energy here for the beautiful aries okay the chariot and the upright all right i told you guys something is taking off for you you guys are taking off you could be going on a road trip you could be going on a business trip you could just be going on a vacation getting away for a few days or something is really taking off for you guys some of you guys could be relocating somebody's relocating to another state all right, for a uh, brand new opportunity, go f go for it, Aries. Don't let nobody stop you from this new endeavor, from this n forward movement, okay? Taking leaps of faith here. Okay, you could be dealing with a cancer. Wow, sudden changes are happening for the better, okay? So as soon as you take off, as soon as you do something, you put something into motion, you invest in something, you make a decision, these karmics are having a sudden tower moment. Okay, because their their plan failed. Everything has backfired. Every every all their plans went to shit. Okay, yeah. All right. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You can have that in your chart, my love. Yeah. And the moon card. All secrets being revealed. All truths coming to the light. They can't hide anything. They can't get away with it. Everything's being exposed. They're telling on themselves. And you have X-ray vision. You can see right through these people. You can see right through this person when they come towards you too. And, it, and it, like I said before, if somebody calls you all of a sudden, suddenly, and they're like, oh, my God, I need you. Can you show up? Can you come over? Can you pick me up here? Can you do this? Can you go there? Don't do it. Because they want you to rush out of your house and get into, like, a bad accident or, like, have something bad happen because you left the house in a rush. All right? So whoever you are, this is just your message of your morning. Don't do it if somebody calls you. They want you to lose your six of pentacles. They want to block your, your, your manifestations. They want to block you from getting justice. They want to keep this dark devil energy attached to you, but it's too late. Like I said, it's too late to apologize. It's too late. It's too late to... It's too late for them to apologize, 
It's too late for them to manipulate you. It's too late for them to have you see them in a certain light. No, it's too late. You cannot unsee what you have seen when these people's masks have fallen off in front of you more than once. Okay, and now you have all these options. Now you have new plans. Now you can pick and choose. All right, so make sure you're picky in a situation. Dealing with a Capricorn, their, 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 love, their love spells, their binding work, backfired. Okay, dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, they're experiencing financial losses for trying to have you lose some sort of money or steal something that belongs to you. All right, when it comes to uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they see you moving forward and they're devastated and they're having tower moments because you have options. One more card before I end this video. You're coming out strong, my loves, as the Empress, male or female. This is who you are, embodying the Empress energy, manifesting what you want, co-creating it. All right, holding on to your energy, holding on to your time and energy, your resources, and somebody's brokenhearted. Because things didn't go their way. Because you're with somebody new. Or you have a new opportunity. Somebody else is losing everything. All right? Getting fired. Losing their job. Things going left in their life. Their, their love life sucks. All right? So somebody held back from you. They ghosted you. They chose a karmic over you. This karmic left this person. This person is by themselves. This person didn't wasn't able to uh, basically provide what this karmic needed. Or this person wasn't able to make this karmic into who you are like so this person wanted the karmic to be you this person just went along with this karmic in order to block you hinder you work against you with your family and look this karmic left this person behind and ghosted them left them behind moved on the same thing this person did to you is exactly what the karmic did to them what goes around comes around yeah and that's what they're going through all right so all these people going through all this conflict and chaos